hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking to this video because i'm about to change your life i'm about to make you look nice i'm gonna make you happy <laughs> thank you so much for my returning subscribers and if you are a new subscriber i hope that by the end of this video i would have convinced you to press that subscribe button without wasting any further time today's video is me actually doing a diy on three different masks that have changed my life and made my skin so evenly toned perfectly radiant and beautiful one being red clay mask, the second being a charcoal mask, and the third being a plain yogurt and turmeric mask. But this is going to be a three-part video where I'm going to be uh, uploading episodes each and every week of these masks. Starting with red clay masks. So without wasting any further time, guys, let us get into this video. I'm sure you guys are familiar with red clay. I'm praying that you are. Please tell me you are. Like... If you're not, then I have a sample for you. Obviously, I'm doing a DIY, so I have to have a sample. So this is how you would purchase red clay, but in like a full circle, obviously. I've used it so many times, like I'm only living in this piece. But this is how you would purchase it. I bought it at MTN Rank Johannesburg. I'm sure that you're also, you're also familiar, especially in Ask the Black community. We use this uh red clay as a sun protection a sun block sunscreen especially for the farm workers people who are in the sun 24 hours they would put this on to protect their skin from being burnt by the sun but i looked into the benefits of red clay and i saw Guti, this does more than just protect you from the sun it does wonders for you firstly i went to my friend's omemulo and it's part of the ritual umemulo to put on red clay like if you were going to be uh, doing the zulu dance you put on the red clay and then in the morning you'll go wash it and i asked my i asked one of the aunties over there and i'm like but what is the significance behind uh young girls putting on red clay on their faces before they perform the zulu dance the next day and he was like because this clay gives you an instant glow so because tomorrow your guys are performing you guys have to look beautiful so you'll wear this clay so that your complexion improves and you become bright and glowing from that day i was like oh i want to put it on i want to put it on so i put on this red clay and we went to the river to wash our face and when i came back i was like friend <gasps> my face is wow like i had this instant glow like my complexion was brighter than ever and i was like this 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 is a goal to a perfect radiant skin so i'm just gonna go through the benefits of this so um number one being the fact that every skin type can use red clay whether you have dry irrit irritable skin sensitive skin whether you have oily skin you can use this clay it helps improve your complexion it makes your skin even toned like the pigmentation of your skin becomes evenly toned uh, it helps with uh getting rid of blackheads it dries them out and then when you wash your face it washes them off as well i love this clay guys so without wasting any further time let us go into the ingredients of this clay so these are all the ingredients that goes into making this red clay mask and all the apparatus that are also needed to also make this red clay mask. Firstly, being your bentonite clay, I have transferred 30 ml of the bentonite clay into that small plastic cup. This is a 30 ml uh, a spoon and I made sure to use a, a, um, a sieve so that I get rid of all the lumps and I make sure that my um clay is powdered and beautiful i used um 60 mils of the red clay i crushed it i sifted it and made sure it is uh, powdered and smooth and then i am going to use uh, 90 mils of your water so that is your 30 and your 60 mils together 
to make that 90 ml of water i'll be transferring everything into that plastic container i'll be using a spatula and an electric whisk the reason why i'm using an electric whisk is because i want my clay my mask to be smooth with no lumps and it just makes things easier guys to use an electric whisk so let us mix everything up and try on our mask Okay, so obviously this recipe has a twist to it. If you haven't noticed that most people who use this clay just use it with just the red clay and water. So I added bentonic clay. You know why I did that is because when you're just only adding the clay and the water, when you apply it on your skin, when it dries out, the sandy particles of the clay start falling off and you find it dirtying your clothes and i didn't like that i wanted something that's gonna stick to my face and not just fly off my face you know so that's why i uh, i added that on it clay i found that this clay has a lot of elasticity in it you know it has this like glueiness into it and it makes sure that my mask sticks to my face so yes that's the twist so let us add this so i am done with my red clay this is how and how it's supposed to look like it mustn't be runny it must be very very pasty like a mask like it mustn't fall out when you put it like upside down yeah this is a consistency you're looking for you can add water if you feel as if the water is a bit small so the measurements i gave you will give you this amount exactly this amount so we're gonna put it on leave it on and take it off and call it a day <laughs> You can leave this mask as long as you want as i said that farm workers leave this mask for 24 hours guys as you can see it's only clay and water i am gonna leave it on until it's dry like after it's dried i'm gonna remove this it. is my clay guys it's almost getting dry so i'm not the type of person to wait like the whole day the minute it's fully dry i remove it so i just only have a few spots them and I want you to notice something. If I come close, there are some spots that, like over here, you can actually see that it's dry, but it's looking kind of like a darker red, not like a powdery red like him. This is my oils. So it's you're obviously going to notice it around your nose because your nose is like the oiliest part of your face. My nose is the oiliest part of my face. So this is all the oils it's extracting yeah as you can see it's dry but it's it's kind of like oily this it's making it like a, a, a an oilier red and like a powdery red here also here i think it's because i had like a zambak that's why um it's also like a different shade of red here so that's how you'd see your oily part of your uh face after like it has dried up so i'm gonna wash it up and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you my face so this is how my face looks after i have removed the mask i'm sorry of the light change the weather changed up on me it's thundering outside um and one thing i want to let you know is that you have to wash it out with lukewarm water to melt the oil out not hot not cold lukewarm and you have to use a soap to make sure it's actually like removed so just gonna use water only you want to come back with a wet face so i used a uh, glycerin pure soap no fragrance no colorant nothing but glycerin this is the soap that i use uh for my face yay so yeah instant glow you see an instant glow guys instant glow like this clay works wonders so Thank you very much for making it to the end of this video you are very much loved stay tuned for part two where i am going to share my activated charcoal mask how i make it and also stay tuned for the part three where i'll make my plain yogurt and turmeric mask 
these masks have changed my life and hopefully they will do the same for you they will keep your skin clear and beautiful so mwah, take care bye